Welcome back to Pro Chef Academy. So today here is day two, and what we're doing today is we're doing our Christmas pudding. So this is the second part of our festive preparations here. So as you can see here, we're all set up here to do our Christmas pudding again. Then this is a very secret recipe. It's my mum's own recipe here that we're using here today. So it's not something you're going to get in a book. So I'm going to share this with you, and this is uh, for a three pound pudding that we're making today. So generally it's half the mix, usually makes it six pound, but in years now we've started to scale it down. So just to run through the ingredients here. So we have two ounces of plain flour, we have five ounces of fresh breadcrumbs, four ounces of butter, six ounces of sultanas, uh, seven ounces of raisins, or you could go four ounces of raisins and three ounces of currants, uh, two ounces of mixed peel, four ounces of brown sugar, two ounces of nibbed almonds, one ounce of ground almonds, two ounces of cherries, two large eggs, or maybe three medium, we have three medium here, um, half a large cooking apple, small carrot, half a small carrot, quarter teaspoon of nutmeg, half a dessert spoon of flat mixed spice, uh, the juice of half a lemon, half an orange, plus the rind, and a half teaspoon of baking powder, flat, uh, dissolved in a half dessert spoon of uh, distilled vinegar, and then we have some alcohol here, as you can see here, we have some Guinness, and uh, we also have some dark rum, that's going to add to the colour. And we, you could use cider or milk, but if you use the alcohol there, um, it'll last a lot longer and it'll mature and you'll get a better flavour. So we would always use the alcohol here, as you, we have the Guinness in the rum. So stage one there, we will just uh, move on to stage two now in a second. Okay, so we have our ingredients here, and we're going to start the first stage here. So the first stage here that we're going to do is we have our fresh breadcrumbs in here, we have our brown sugar, we have our flour with our spices, and mix which we're going to sieve in, and we have our two types of almonds, our ground and our nib. So we're going to add those and mix them well first. So we need to just sieve in this. So you pop in that there for me, lovely. Okay. So we'll just gently sieve this just to mix it all through, like that. Perfect. And just gently start to mix the flour and the spices. And already you can have a beautiful smell of the allspice and the nutmeg coming through. And with our sugar next. Yes. Yeah, like that. So we just have the dark sugar here this year. This will also help with the colour and the flavour, a rich kind of treacly flavour to it. You just break that up there as well. Dark sugar. Dark sugar. Yeah, you can help, yeah. So we're just breaking that up by hand there. Okay, so next we're going to add in both our uh, ground almonds and our nibbed almonds, and then again we just start to combine everything there. So let's cut all the dry ingredients in first, and then we're going to start layering in all our wet ingredients. Okay, yeah, like that. Just make sure we mix them all well so it's all combined. Okay, so next we're going to add the fruit now in a second. Okay, so the next stage we've combined all the dry ingredients, so we're now we're going to our macerated fruit, or that we soaked with the alcohol there, we're going to add that in. So again, we, um, how much uh, whiskey did we put into the fruit? This was about two glasses, didn't it? Uh, I think it was two glasses, about two, two glasses. glasses. Okay. Two glasses of Paris whiskey that yeah, we um, soaked our fruit in overnight again. It's lovely and plump. It's lovely and plump, and a great smell of alcohol off it. And then again, it gets, creates that depth of flavour to our pudding. Yeah. Yep. Just add the rest of that there. Just like that. And then again we just keep combining. So it's, this is the point where we're adding all the fruit. And what also just a point there that we have uh, the carrot going in here as well. And the carrot will also help to sweeten and to darken our pudding as well. So a grated carrot obviously. And you can see there as well with our uh, cherries there that my mum halved them and then quartered them and then rolled them in a little bit of flour there again then so that they don't, they're distrib distributed evenly throughout our pudding and they don't sink to the bottom. Because they, obviously they're generally like in, a, in juice. And then the mixed peel now is going in. And again, I'm just, I'm a mixer. So again, this can be done by hand. You don't need to use um, an electrical uh, aid there to help you. You can do this by hand, it's quite easy to do. Very traditional, again, this is around uh, the end of October that we're making this. So we're doing this well in, in time for Christmas so that the flavor will develop. 
So we just want to mix the orange and the lemon rind there. And the next thing we have is the juice of half of an orange and a lemon going. Again, I'm just mixing everything the fine, eggs. I think. The eggs are going to go in next. The eggs are just there. We have eggs. So we have three medium eggs that we're just going to add in. We've beaten them slightly. Perfect. Uh, waste not, want not. So again, then we combine this mix. I've also, um, part of my preparation here is I have melted my butter here and I'm using um, Kerrygold butter in this as well. So good quality butter, good quality ingredients for anything you do is also really, really important. If you have good ingredients, then you should always end up with a good quality product. And then we have, some. okay, so we're adding our butter next. So we've melted the butter, Kerrygold butter. Yeah, like that. That's it, it's all out, lovely. Take that, and again we just it's again bringing everything together, combine it and distributing our melted butter through our mix. And the next thing then we have is a little bit of alcohol. So we have some dark rum here that we're going to add. Jamaica rum. Jamaica rum. Lovely. Again we add that. We've added one. And that's a, it's enough, really. it's enough really, yeah, okay, yeah. at the moment. Okay. And now you can really smell the strong flavour of the, the yeah. rum there. And, and now we have some Guinness. We don't really need it, I think it's pretty good. So how much Guinness are we going to add here? We must, enough to uh, make it drop and consist. Drop and consist. So just enough stout or Guinness there till we get a drop in consistency. Yeah. Do you think it's nearly okay? Yeah. So we've added our Christmas pudding to our bowl that's been pre-greased as well. Uh, we've also greased our, our cartouche or our greaseproof paper, which is the topping. Now we've put our mix about three quarters of an inch uh, from the top of our bowl to obviously to allow for expansion when it's growing um, and rising through the cooking process. How long are we going to cook this for? Three and a half hours. It's about three and a half to four hours. Now we're going to wait and cook this tomorrow. So we're going to give it 24 hours there just for all the flavors to mature some more. Um, and then we will steam it then tomorrow for three and a half to four hours. Okay, so this is the last stage here for our Christmas pudding here. We have steamed it now for four hours. Um, I took it off the heat and just left it in for about another 15 minutes. What I've also done is I've tested it with my metal skewer, my mum's metal skewer. What I've done was obviously I inserted it here, down to, right down to the bottom. Okay, leave it for a second. And what we want to do then is we want to just take it out slowly and what we're looking for is that it's dry uh, there's no crumb on it uh, there's no it's no wet uh, dough or, or, or mix at all um, so that's perfect there I've also checked that and what you're going to do now is we're going to just uh, feed it um, just like you would a Christmas cake and we have some more of our rum here which we had earlier and we are just going to pour some of it on like that and then I've made some holes here already okay um, and that's going to help for it to soak down so at the moment here I'm just going to put in about half of our rum okay with the dark rum there and we're just going to let that soak in and again like I said this is like feeding and this is going to help the preservation of our pudding as well so there you have it um, a really um, enjoyable experience we've had here making this and um, that's the last stage now. Again, we could feed this every two weeks as well, coming up to Christmas here, and that will help, again, develop flavor and help preserve it. So there it is done, uh, Christmas pudding, traditional Irish Christmas pudding, in my mum's own recipe. Um, I hope you liked this video. Um, don't forget Pro Chef Academy. Please like, subscribe, and share, and uh, we'll see you very soon, won't we, Maura? Yeah. See you very soon.